Okay, can anyone hear me now? <laughs> Turns out there was a mute function in the broadcast thing. Even though my microphone is unmuted on my headset, so that's good to know. Uh, so I've just done all the standards and everything, and it turns out there was a mute function. So I'm going to have to do it another time because I think you guys have been waiting for me to do uh, to start speaking. So um, yeah, I can see that now, Ashley. Thank you. It turns out there was a thing in the broadcast that mutes the mic automatically, even though your headset can be unmuted. So yeah, I don't know how they worked that one out. Um, so we're all good to go. I'll have to go through the championship standings a little bit uh, during qualifying just to give a heads up. But what was I saying? I was talking about Road Atlanta. Yeah, a very technical track. Very little time to rest here. Lots of fast corners. Sector one. You know, lots of consecutive left, rights, uphill, downhill, blind corners. Yeah, this track never gives you a moment to rest. And the pace here seems to be pretty close. Uh, so we'll quickly go through the standings now since everyone can hear me uh, so when I find the standing so here we go so yeah I'm your host Stephen Graham was meant to be racing tonight I'm not racing because my rig has basically broken so um yeah the championship leader is myself on a two, 204 points Liam McEwen in second on 176 Liam new after taking two back-to-back -back wins at the Nürburgring courtesy of some wet weather and his four-wheel drive system is in third on 162 Rob Schauler in fourth 150 points John Thompson fifth 127 Adam Piper absent last week on 120 uh, Panos absent for this first race is in seventh on 97 Jordan Hardin in eighth 88 points Aaron Loxley now my full season teammate in the BMW on 82 Gary Pointer in 10th with 75 points Aaron Riley and Mark Thompson respectfully in 11th and 12th tied on points in, with 64 points Ashley Sharp with 61 Jonathan Smith 14th with 59 points uh, the team standings Accelerate Motorsports they're on 326 Sisley Motorsport in 2nd 250 West Surrey Racing 204 and 3rd Motorbase of 4th really close with 202 BTC Racing 181 in 5th place Health as you are in 6th with 161 and Paramax are 7th with 123 uh, so we're now in qualifying and everyone's going to be looking for some space on the track to get their laps done you really don't want to be coming across anyone here it's, it's a very short lap you need as much space as you can to hook up the lap because it's so tricky and having a car really close behind you or really really close in front it's just going to put you out of rhythm so a few of these guys are going to be taking their time to get up to speed we've got 10 minutes of qualifying here Xavier McIntosh, one of the fan favourites in the old days of FTR back on GT Sport when we were doing British Touring Car Leagues. Always at the forefront of the championship, just never managed to clinch a title, but he's here tonight to fill in the reserve role for myself. He'll be scoring half points tonight, which will go towards my total. Uh, but either way, Liam McEwen in a very good position to take the championship lead although not a very good start to his lap there deciding to go in a little bit wide and then firing it into the wall his teammate XR Groot leading the way with John Thompson dare I say a bit too close there and I think Rob is going to be very concerned about that Ford potentially making a move to get past him there if I was John I would have backed up a little bit more honestly uh, a big headwind down the straight so John's gonna get a good benefit of toe here but he needs to be careful he doesn't interrupt himself or Rob in this qualifying session it's critical to get your first bank collapse in you don't want to be tripping over one another uh, Rob generously cutting the track there the track limits not really enforced here because well if you cut the track you're going off into the gravel or into a wall so you can't there's no real advantage to be gained here and there is the benchmark set and then joke <laughs> xavier mcintosh straight into the 123 zeros and so that is the ultimate pace right off the bat there it seems and then so it's the two bmws at loxie and mcintosh locking out the front row there five milliseconds off of 22.9 there so the bmw is setting the pace right off the bat which is very good to see 
Liam new in the Mercedes, a couple of attempts behind Rob, also a couple of attempts behind there. John Thompson, who has all season long not gotten on with that Ford for some reason, doesn't seem to be fully hooked up with it. A car that did very well last season and maybe just not quite extracted its full potential just yet. But he's got this race and Brands Hatch to try and get on top of things. But he's only five tenths off the pace at the moment. So it's not a complete disaster at the moment. Though I do fear he is tripping himself over here trying to stick with Rob. You know, he's too close to his back bumper. And he's only going to be slowing himself down now. And the problem he's got, he's got all these cars behind him are going to be looking to get by him now. So we got Alan Piper in the pits. We should probably look who's doing what medium. So Aaron Loxley looks to be doing race one on soft. Joker, in my place, I've only got race two mediums. So he'd be doing race two on the mediums. Liam New is on the softs. Rob Schowler is on the softs. John Thompson, who's just gone flying off the road, is also on the softs. Piper is on the softs. Ash is on the softs. Gary Point is on the softs. Jonathan Smith is on the softs. Mark Thompson is on the softs. It looks... Oh, we've only got two medium runners, and that's Jordan Harden and Aaron Riley. So the other 11 drivers are on the softs. So... Yeah, it could be a lonely race for Aaron and Harden there. So looking through the order, what have we got? Uh, no improvements just yet. Everybody is... Just settling in, Liam McEwen into third with a 123.1. I've got to say, the pace is insanely close here. Top three separated by 0.1 of a second. Even the top two separated by half a tenth. And Joker, Xavier McIntosh even. Half a tenth purple going into the final chicane. He's had a toe from the Mercedes. He's still getting a toe now. Can he put the BMW on pole? Oh, a little bit of jittering and lag there. And he does go pole with 122.7. The toe proving very crucial here. And now they're kind of getting stuck on one another there. So it is a BMW West Surrey Racing 1-2 at the moment. Which is very crucial here because this track is not wide to begin with. So having those two cars lock out the front row with how narrow it is. They weren't, the cars behind wouldn't be able to get very far. Liam New in the four-wheel drive going wide. He'll be giving himself dirty tyres there, so he's not helping himself out there at all. St by the looks of it, could be starting fourth or maybe fifth, potentially. Not looking to be on the, not looking like he's on the pace here, and struggling with the Mercedes despite the four-wheel drive system. So he could be starting further down the grid than he would like, but will surely game positions at the start but like I said narrow track not really a lot of room to make yeah, make positions at the start uh, giving way to Joker there further down the grid Adam Piper absent at Nadeau Green his favourite track but didn't get to race here at Road Atlanta not done much practice his usual tactic sets a 24-2 sets looks like that was his first lap oh Rob with a 125 oh, he's so close at the front the FK8 Civic win, has won two champion, drivers' championships in a row so far, but obviously with British touring cars, especially in FTR, there is random car selection. Each driver pair and team gets randomly given a car. And so far, the new driver pairings of Mark Thompson, Aaron Riley, Ash Sharp and Adam Piper just not quite getting on with... The FK8 Civic, which has been a dominant force so far in the series, up there with the BMW for you know, the amount of wins it's taken recently. Last season, Liam Mc taking Liam McEwen to his third Drivers' Championship, but at the moment, the Civic, not I think actually winless this season so far, which is a, a, a horror to see, but next season it could be back at the front again. So there's about two minutes of qualifying left, I believe. There's no timer to tell me how long is left. All I can see is the total time, which is uh, not ideal, but polyphony digital things, they they only add what they think is necessary, not what is actually necessary. 
Um, as Rob rounds the final corner, this could be his final flying lap potentially. He could all be on their final flying lap. Aaron out of the pits. Looks like he's just come in. Again, Joker coming back after a, a, a good hiatus from touring cars. And doesn't seem to have lost his pace one bit. Liam McEwen in the high end Genesis there with the gold number plate signifying the and obviously of course the number one on the window signifying his status in the championship and uh, also going for a, a little spin there. But I I fear the high end eyes today could be the dominant car here. I mean the BMW sure it might be quick, but that Genesis is an absolute weapon and. I, I fully expect the, the Genesis could be the ones taking the wins here tonight. But Stormfly, a very aggressive driver, certainly making his presence felt here. Round one, a little bit, you know, all over the place, but throughout... <laughs> uh, Aaron, uh, we'll move on. Aaron, obviously, at the start of the season, you know... Got a few penalties here and there, has to have been, by his own admission, adapting to the series and adapting his driving. And since then has improved significantly and now has been rewarded with that with a full time drive in, well, in one of the top cars. And is putting his pace to good use immediately in contention of his first win so far in the series. Joker could also be in for his win and as we're on the final lap we'll see what he can do. Yeah, this is going to be all of their final laps now. Is Joker improving? He is improving. 96 milliseconds up. That is AXR Groot up the road. Obviously AXR. <laughs> uh, the BMW is getting a little bit of heat. Um... Anyway, where was I? Joker could be getting a, a sniff of a toke here, which the BMW desperately needs. Not a quick car in a straight line by any stretch of the imagination. Really does struggle in a straight line, but makes up for that in the corners and braking. And yeah, you can see there that headwind and the lack of toe goes from 96 milliseconds up to 9 milliseconds down. And... I don't think Joker is going to improve here, but to be honest, I think that pole position is safely secured here. Rob does improve a little bit, but it looks like Joker's taken the pole here. Evil Dragon improves to a 23-0. A That's still not enough to dislodge the top three. Liam McEwen in the pits, not wanting, it doesn't want to see, it seem like he's going to improve. Adam Piper in sixth, Rob Schaller in fifth. I fear could be disappointed with that i think he felt there was definitely a top three on the cards there but you know there could be some chaos into turn one there's a very tricky track you know you gotta keep your nose clean but joker coming back with you know <laughs> a brit a barnstorming lab gotta say that it's like he never left straight in on pole position and we're back into the main lobby now. 12 laps lay ahead of us here. So here is the qualifying results. So on pole position, it is Xavier McIntosh with a 122.7. And then followed by uh, Liam McEwen in second place in the championship with a 122.9. Uh, Aaron Loxie, first time in the BMW with a 123.0. Liam New in the Mercedes. We're struggling in practice, complaining the car wasn't up to pace, and then sticks it in fourth, only three tenths down. Uh, he's in fourth, and that's all we're going to get to see of the grid, because the grid is now on the road. So, we wait for the the, red, the five red lights. There they are. This is Macintosh on the pole. The BMW very good off the start, so is the Genesis, but it's that Mercedes you've got to watch out for. But here come the five red lights. The five red lights are on. And they are out and round. Well, fuck, yeah, you know what I meant. Anyway, and there you go. The Mercedes straight away splits the two, the second row there, and is straight into second. Maybe gunning for first. No, not quite. Liam McEwen around the outside. Oh, nibbles the grass, but he's just about okay. Oh, very, very close indeed. Liam McEwen, Liam New. Oh, around the outside goes Liam McEwen into the third turn. That is very good there. 
had the racing line. It's Storm. Aaron locks it in. Liam New go inside. Oh man, it's already. I, I've never commented. I've never commented for Star Cards as well, and I'm going to have to catch up on all of this. Oh, that's John Thompson. Massive slide catches it from more drives you can catch the slides in these which is very crucial there that's what stopped him from absolutely massacring himself because if it was in a bmw or genesis he would have been off the road but fair and square there but further up the grid it is joker 1.3 seconds already up the road oh and i think there was a bit of contact between new and aaron there oh and rob's stuck behind the mercedes free wide or oh, not quite but Rob is in an awful position right now. Is he bump drafting the Mercedes? He is bump drafting the Mercedes. Fair. Okay, right. Uh, uh, it looked like uh, Rob was stuck behind. Oh, here comes Piper. Oh, there's no way they're going four wide into that corner. No way. Oh, wow. God, that was uh, very, very uh, scary. <laughs> I don't know. Adam Piper was looking for blood there. That could have been very bad very quickly. And the Mercedes is already falling off the road there, potentially. Two seconds already behind. Liam McEwen is now getting swallowed up by the Genesis. Oh yeah, Liam's been done around the outside there. It just doesn't seem like that Mercedes has the race pace, it seems. Just being overtaken left, right and centre at the moment. Already gone from third down to fifth, potentially sixth, because the Civic is not a slow car on a straight line and that Mercedes because of its four-wheel drive advantage, suffers a big ballast, well, like a success ballast, shall we say. Now, Liam's on the grass there. I'm not quite sure what was going on there. I, can't, I haven't got a replay function, so I can't check out what was going on there. But the Mercedes weighs, uh, weighs 200 kilograms, which is the set ballast for all of these cars, but only has 300 horsepower because of its four-wheel drive advantage anymore and it would be too it would have too big of a significant advantage so 300 horsepower is all it gets and you can see the difference that makes adam piper absolutely rocketing up the back of that mercedes liam's gonna make it difficult adam's alongside liam needs to give the room and adam is down the inside it is going from bad to worse for liam and now john thompson's getting in on the action as well around the outside the ford focus again another car with monstrous straight line speed and liam has is all just fallen apart from Liam in these first two laps further up the order joker and McEwen, well mcintosh and McEwen, even stevens at the moment 1.2 seconds rob has aaron loxy for company but adam piper has come alive and qualified uh, came alive and qualifying and now in the race is really hooked up now he's latched onto the back of these guys as long as he can stay in their toe not make any mistakes there is no reason why he can't finish on the podium as long as these guys battle and then liam knew oh, he is having an absolute nightmare at the moment flew off the road there at that's probably what turn 10 i don't know so many different turns um but it is no use to tell at the moment so we got the top two kind of breaking away and Rob Shaw, we're all aboard the Shaola train at the moment. And you can see the, the BMW slowly catching up to the Genesis in a straight line. Obviously the Genesis working against the wind and obviously the guys behind getting that massive slipstream. Uh, further down the order, there's Ash Sharp racing Jordan Harden. First time here, says Jordan on the who is on the medium tyres at Road Atlanta, so probably quite a square, uh, scary um, combination at the moment for him. Uh, track that, I, I say, yeah, very difficult up there with the Nürburgring Dodge Life because very ta very narrow, very tight, deadly curbs, not much runoff, you know, a lot can go wrong. Seems like Adam Piper has dropped off the back of Aaron there, and John is looking for a way through it. He is literally latched onto the bumper of the uh, Civic there. Let's just see. Do you, uh, John, yeah, John definitely looks a little bit more comfortable here. That again, Liam New going wide there, which is no good for him. He's going to keep getting dirty tyres every time he goes off the road there, so he's not gaining advantage. If anything, just slowing himself down up the road it's a 2.1 2.2 second gap looks like joker has checked out and then further down second to third 2.2 gap as well and aaron on the back of the genesis here 
Is he going to size up a move? He's in the slip. He's not got that big of an overspeed. Rob's going defensive. There's no way Aaron's going to do it around the outside there. Surely no. Rob will cut the nose off of that. But he gets a bit Larry out of the final corner. But Aaron, he got such a good exit. There was no room for him to actually capitalize on that. Anyway, further back down the field, Liam New has got past John Thompson. Seems like Liam has remembered how to drive. And long behold, John Thompson in the Ford is doing 122.9s after saying, why is nobody else doing 122.9s? So there you go. It seems like the cars can do 122.9s. Um, so yeah, that's good to see. The Ford on the pace. Can he now move up the grid, though, is the question. And Liam New will not make it easy. And... Um, in any situation, Liam does not make it easy. Whether it's racing for last or first or in the midfield, he does not make it easy whatsoever. Again, the gap at the front, 2.2 seconds, 2.3. Don't need to really focus on those at the moment. Ash Sharp fighting. Since when was Mark Thompson in the Renault? Who else is... Where's the other... Oh no, it's Panos in the uh, in the UASA Civic. I'm being stupid. No, uh, it's Mike, Mark Thompson in the Renault. Uh, so yeah, the Renault, another uh, rapid car in a straight line. And you see there the difference. Just leaving Ash uh, for dead there. Uh, Ashley Sharp struggled with the Civic so far this season. Couldn't just quite get the grasp on it. Even going to the lengths of buying an entirely new car. And it supposedly made an improvement. And based on that pace, it certainly seems like he is a lot more comfortable with the car. And even again, at the back here, everyone really close nose to tail. Jordan and Aaron on the mediums. Again, if this is their first time here or not very familiar with the track, being at the back is not such a bad thing, especially if they're this close to the guys in front. Any sort of incident, they will be moving up the grid. So a yeah, really good pace from everyone here at the moment. Liam New on the back of Adam Piper. Adam Piper, another rolling roadblock <laughs> in the British Touring Car Championship. He does not back down, Adam Piper. He does not give two hoots who's behind him. He will defend for his life. Even against his own teammates. But so far, it doesn't look like he's needing to defend, to defend against the Mercedes. Mercedes not quite keeping up in a straight line there. So, Liam will have to think of other ways to get by him. Seems like the top... Oh, the gap between McEwen and Schauler has dropped significantly there by a second or so. Yeah, because the gap at the front's gone up a second. So Liam has, yeah, a 124.0 there on lap five has made a mistake. And John Thompson, again, is on the back of the Mercedes. Oh, a bit of lag going on here, which is not great to see, but that's polyphony digital things. They'd rather add Renault 4s in other cars that make no sense to the game then actually fix their game oh and adam piper's slow out of that turn as well everyone's going wide there <laughs> can liam find a way past the civic it's going to be tricky on the straight he really needs to set up the exit which looks like he's done that He's really on the back bumper now, but I think that Civic in the straight, you know, he's bump drafting. He is bump drafting. Okay, great. Is he going to go for a move here? No, he's not going to go for a move. I'm honestly surprised Liam bump drafted that. I'm thinking, you know, given his pace, you know, he did a 123.0 in qualifying, something like that. I thought he'd be trying to make a move on Piper here because Piper, albeit, you know, he's actually doing the same pace, 123.4. So it's really, really close here tonight. There's Aaron also doing a 122.9 there. That's his first of the night, I believe. I think that's his first 122.9 uh, altogether. And the gap between the Genesis has closed even more. Rob Schauer nearly 
in the slip of his teammate now. Oh, and Liam's gone wide there. That will give him dirty tyres. That will almost guarantee Rob, is it? Rob will be in the slip now. And he's dragging Aaron along with him. And I think this is something Liam's going to be concerned about here. Is Aaron Loxy interfering? Well, I say interfering, getting involved in the championship battle. Uh, but Rob Schauler, a very, very loyal teammate. And I think Rob will see that given I'm not racing and only scoring half points. Rob is going to do his utmost to defend for uh, third position. But Aaron against tall odds has gone around the outside of rob at that turn but i didn't quite see if he did go all fours off the road if he did that might end up getting penalized i couldn't quite tell from the angle there if he did go off or not but either way I, I, an absolutely amazing overtake there a, a lot of confidence to go around the outside there especially on the brakes the BMW, a very good car in its brakes. So it gives you a lot of confidence to really, really hammer it into the corners and break real late there. And now the question is, can Aaron catch up to Liam? Can Rob re-overtake Aaron? Or is everyone's making their own, uh, making up their own lines through there? Further down the order not much change it seems the two medium runners are locked together i think these guys at the back just taking it easy um, try and score some good points in the first race and then maybe start pushing a bit harder in the second races john thompson with the fastest lap of the race 122.7 getting quicker and quicker as the race goes on we've only got a couple of laps remaining here so we'll just do a quick rundown of the grid so far. It is Xavier McIntosh with a four and a half second lead, followed by McEwen in second, Aaron Loxie in third with that brilliant move around Schauler, who is in fourth, Adam Piper in fifth, Liam New looking to climb back up the order is in sixth, John Thompson in seventh, Ash Sharp in a very good eighth at the moment, Gary Pointer in ninth, J Jonathan Smith followed by his teammate in 10th and 11th, and then the two medium runners 12th and 13th. So on to lap 10 of this race and McIntosh doing everything he needs to do. Just going on a casual Friday evening drive. And then, oh, Aaron nearly, he is in the toe now. Uh, the Genesis though, really quick in a straight line. So, and Le oh, that's Rob Schauler. He had a big, big snap out of that corner there. He'll be really kicking himself for that mistake. Question is, can he keep it ahead of Liam into this corner? Liam's going to, you know, oh, he's got a, a nasty tap from John there. Being on the, obviously having dirty tyres, having way less grip. Oh, Rob's going to be really, really frustrated with himself for that mistake. But plenty of time to improve his positions. A very quick car, obviously feeling, feeling very quick in it as well does have the opportunity to make up positions if there is any mistakes john doesn't look like he's going to fight that one too hard liam i think he's going to be under pressure now having seen rob obviously make a mistake he's now going to have rob really gunning to get past adam piper obviously gets promoted up to fourth now and is going quicker and quicker with every passing lap i mean look at his lap times i mean 120 since lap five he has improved every lap in this race so far and oh aaron has closed right up to the back of that Mercedes Genesis now Liam will be looking to defend every position he needs to maximize his points accumulation this race and I think that will be defending this position by any means necessary as long as it's legal but that Genesis a very quick car in a straight line that BMW obviously with the pace just by a small smidge but two very evenly matched cars here it seems but aaron has got a heck of a run off of that corner there how is liam going to defend this one because aaron is right on the rear the rear bumper of that liam's going all the way to the left hand side but aaron's already gone around the outside once can he do it again i fear though liam yeah he's going to try and outbreak as much as he can liam is not going to be quite as nice as rob was 
Oh, I don't know about a move down the inside here. That is very risky. That is very risky. They keep it. Oh, Liam's been shown to the grass a little bit there. It's all hard racing, though. Trading a bit of paint around the outside here. I don't know. Oh, no, Liam would have to yield that one. It was hard. It was aggressive, but it was fair and clean. Eventually, I think Aaron was going to get through. That BMW just seems to be a little bit hooked up. Liam doesn't look to be on the pace. His, his pace has been up and down this race by a couple of attempts. And I think uh, eventually it was a case of when, not if. But Aaron now has the unfortunate circumstance of being the lead car with a head wind. We'll just check further back. Rob's fallen back even further. So it seems like he's gone from bad to worse. Don't need to check on Joker. He's just buggered off. Can Aaron hold on to second now? He's got the headwind. He's got the Genesis, the quickest car in a straight line behind him. Liam is going to be rocketing up to the back of him. Here we go. The gap's coming down. This is really where the Genesis comes into its own. The higher ends or the top speed. Is Aaron going to go defensive? No, he's not. Liam's going to have to go for this move, but he's kind of hesitated a little bit fearing either gonna go too deep no but no it looks like well joker has won his first race back it's gonna be a bmw one two here for west sorry racing which is gonna really rocket him up the uh, order liam McEwen taking a solid third out of a really impressive fourth liam new in fifth john thompson in sixth rob Schauler in a he's gonna be really miffed off about that in seventh place i'm gonna be really really upset Ashley Sharp in a very, very respectable eighth position, might I say, in a bit of no man's land there. Jonathan Smith in ninth position, a, a, a good race for him, I, I gotta say. Aaron Riley, 10th on the mediums. Mark Thompson there in 11th. Gary Pointer in 12th. And Jordan Hardin on his first out in that road, Atlanta, on the mediums in 13th position. But a very, very good race. That was very entertaining, lads. More of that, please. There is your confirmation. Xavier McIntosh, pole position, victory, like he never left us. So, <clears throat> let's go down the... Down through the order. So there you can see well, the two BMWs and the Ford getting into the 122s there. Seems like the Genesis... They might have had the pace and qualifying, but in the race, just couldn't seem to find those few extra terms. But it was McIntosh in first, Loxie in second, McEwen in third, Piper in fourth, New in fifth, Thompson in sixth, Shower in a very, very disappointing seventh, Sharp in eighth, Smith in ninth, Riley in tenth, Thompson, another Thompson, yeah, I know, uh, in 11th, Pointer in 12th, and Harding in 13th, and then the fastest lap going to Loxley with a 122.6, so even in the race and uh, you know, practice, there was talks of a tw of 122s, whether it was possible, and then we saw him in qualifying, and then in the race, we've had the, the fastest lap we've seen all, um, all week prior to this event. But a very, very close race. Lots of close fast laps there. I mean, look at the top seven. You know, that is insanely close. A lot. I mean, even, you know, everyone is really close in terms of their pace, which is good to see. As we move on to the second race, the settings will change. It's going to be a little bit later in the day. Going to be a little bit later in the day. That wind's changed a little bit. Not quite a headwind anymore. Tailwind down the fast S's, which is going to be a little bit... Um... It seems like maybe John Thompson and Rob Schauler have had a coming together, it seems. Judging by what's going down on the... Uh... going on in the chat there I don't know what so uh, this race we'll check out tires everyone's gonna be going on seems like a few guys were struggling with the pace uh, with the conditions 
qualifying seems to be on the seems to get quite comfortable and then in the race seems like a few people struggling to get into a rhythm by the looks of it but the tire graph all i know is is my tire chart and that macintosh will be doing race twos so piper um that can't be right so he must be doing race two mediums and doing race ones next week um no no i don't liam McEwen. um let's keep the chat pg yeah uh <laughs> so uh sharp will be doing either race two on mediums or race three on mediums piper will be do do doing race two mediums uh macintosh will be doing race two mediums uh harding will be doing race two on the softs liam must be doing race three on the mediums uh shout is either doing race two on the mediums or race three McEwen will be doing race three mediums. Panos, if he turns up, will probably be doing. We'll have to do race two mediums. Uh, Aaron Riley will be doing. Oh, he's done his mediums already. Already. Uh, Jonathan Smith will be doing race three mediums. Mark Thompson will be doing race three mediums. John Thompson will be doing race three mediums. Uh, Gary Pointer will be doing. Uh, either race two or race three, and Loxy will either be doing race two or three. So there's going to be a bit of a blend now. Not quite as many people on the softs now, so it's, it's going to be quite a spread field now with a few more drivers on the mediums. Obviously, we had pretty much 11 cars on the softs last race. This time around, it's going to be a little bit more varied. Some of the quicker drivers on the mediums giving the guys who were on the softs last race who finished a little bit further down the order the opportunity to climb up the field and gain some more valuable points should probably save the replay which i can't which is unfortunate but hey ho if you do have any questions do put them in the chat or if i've missed anything do you say but it looks like that was a relatively clean straightforward race and an entertaining one at that, unless you're Joker or Macintosh, where you just turn up and then just <laughs> resume business as normal. And so who are we waiting on? Uh, no, every, we're waiting on Jordan and Gary to be on track at some point. We've still got five minutes to go yet. Obviously, next season we'll be running some very very nice liveries uh there's some been some changes to the car selection well as in the mercedes is being dropped four wheel drive has been around for three seasons now and has caused nothing but trouble <laughs> and it, uh, it is finally being retired now so there will only be rear wheel drive and front wheel drive now uh the mercedes being replaced with the returning uh vw golf uh, a very competitive car of course all the teams will be reset everyone will pair up with whoever they want to pair up and then the random car draw will begin and everyone will get assigned their car uh, but in between that i believe there is going to be a special event between this season and the next season we're going to be having a free week break because next season uh, we are returning to nine round calendars. Obviously, the last time we did that was back on GT Sport in season 18. Obviously, we've been doing six round calendars. So, yeah, six round calendars. They're all right, but everyone loves more racing. Hopefully, we'll just get a few more tracks added. Yeah, we could do it with a few more tracks, but it seems like Polyphony Digital are in no rush to add tracks to this game. I mean, what, it's been over a year since the last time I think we got a Tarmac Road track or something like that, I think. I'm not quite sure. Obviously, something in an opposite party has been said. I'm not sure Adam Piper is making anybody whimper. But yeah, I think Gran Turismo 7, 
definitely needs more tracks definitely needs more cars i mean i'm uh, as much as i love the gt1 and uh, you know race cars being added i do like to see some modern road cars being added i think it's criminal we don't have cars like the i30n and oh boy uh the, uh, we don't have the i30n or the 308 gti or the cupra vz3 and stuff like that I, I just don't understand how we don't have those cars in the game or the 330, 330i BMW, you know, beggar's belief they're not in the game, but no, I think Kaz would rather give us little vintage boxes to collect and never drive, so yeah, that's that's what we're going for. So we make do with what we got, thankfully we do have a good couple of cars on this game that are actually somewhat good enough to race against each other. Um... Yeah, next season, potentially some drivers dropping out, some hopefully quick drivers joining in their replacement. We'll see what next season brings. Could be the best ever we've had. I, I mean, you got a top British Touring Car Season 18. You got a top the British Touring Car Road Series, well, I, we don't really have a season number, but last season, going all the way to the final race and the championship being decided on the line. Yeah, there, there is a, a, a quite a few seasons to outdo when it comes to this. Uh, i got to say, probably the best league. If you love British Touring Cars, you love road cars and you love racing and you want to race some touring cars, this is the place to be. Nobody does it quite like us. We have 100% replica liveries to the utmost accuracy made by our very own livery designer, Ashley Sharp. Shout out to him. Designed some amazing liveries. So if you're ever looking for a livery that you want to run, go check out his, his uh, page if you want some really cracking liveries. And I've seen the liveries for, well, the teasers for the liveries next season. And oh, wow, they look good. It'd look even better if they were on the actual real touring cars if they added them to this game, but they don't, so. So, as we wait for... Just a uh, quick moment then. Technical issue right there. But it seems like we're getting started up soon. In one minute. It seems like we're getting on to the next race. So it is Macintosh on the front row. Someone's honking. It says Adam's on the front row, but that's a lie. Five red lights. The blue flag's waving for someone. Lights out, and we are away again. And Adam has absolutely dogged the start there. What tyres is he on? Oh, he's on mediums. He must have jumped the start or was sleeping. But up the rows, Joker on the mediums. Aaron on the mediums, McEwen on the soft. So this has got to, he's got to make the moves now if he's going to secure the win. And oh, oh, whoa, he's hit the back of Macintosh. Oh, it is gone for, oh, that is not great. Um, I have no idea what happened there, but Liam tried to go around the outside of Aaron and going wide there, compromises your run into that turn carrying that speed leaves you very little time to break and 
ploughed into the back of McIntosh there. Uh, that could be a penalty coming Liam's way there potentially later on. But it does promote Schauler to third place. It promotes Liam to first. But based on the last race, that first place could turn into something else. But we'll see what happens. Further down the order, John Thompson in fifth. Jonathan Smith, a very respectable sixth place there. Piper has managed to claw his way back up to seventh in all of that. Or oh, Ash down in 11th there, uh, front wheel drives, not getting a very good start. Uh, McIntosh having been nerfed <laughs> all the way back down and already a battle for the lead here. Mediums versus, oh, oh, I don't know if that was lag or if whatnot, but yeah, um, it is now Constantino up here. Liam's got to be very careful where he positions his car here because well, all three of them have to be, but there's three cars all in close proximity here and Aaron's been nerfed wide by the Genesis as well. That's two Genesis genocide that have nerfed the BMWs out of the way now, it seems, which is not a good sight to see. It doesn't look like Aaron was given any room there potentially, but see if it comes to the stewards or not but from that angle it didn't look like Aaron was given much room but camera perception can give off misleading looks but anyway that does promote the, Gen the Genesis drivers to third and second obviously Aaron feeling aggrieved there by Shaula and obviously from his perspective you can understand why uh, Liam knew Racing for the lead. Also, in third position, is going to want to fight for this lead hard, but I have a feeling, yep, Shaula is already coming through, but under a cloud of a potential penalty here. So he's gonna, if he's going to make this work, he needs to make it happen and then put at least a five second gap. But Liam looks to be putting that to test. Oh God, I'm not quite sure why he's touching the grass there because that is an automatic almost an automatic spin there uh, Liam, uh, Liam McEwen falling off the back there John Thompson in fourth who could really capitalise off penalties and, an ac and accidents here because potentially both Genesis cars could be penalised here so that's both BMWs down the back of the grid after taking race worn by storm and then seems to it seems to have just been shuffled a little bit yeah, so new on the back of shower top three all on softs top four on softs new uh, adam piper the highest driver on the mediums in fifth and um, finishing high in the on the mediums really does pay dividends here just in any race doesn't matter if it's High position, high finishing positions on the mediums can really be make or break. And for Adam, after missing last week, a good finish on the mediums could really propel him up the order here because there's a lot of guys who are on the softs who should be a lot higher than they are. And of course, with penalties potentially coming up for two drivers in the top three, Adam could really find that he could find himself on the podium with mediums. Liam New under pressure from the Genesis down the inside, not really fighting that one. I get the feeling, and Liam probably has the same feeling, that perhaps he doesn't need to fight the Genesis that much because they could be getting penalised. It's a good strategy, no need to fight them hard if later on they're going to be promoted, well, demoted back down the grid. And John Thompson you know, could be in a similar fall here. Adam Piper, four and a half seconds, so yeah, if, if he's going to want to finish higher than this, he's going to really need some help with that to happen. But top four, really close together, all on the same tyre, all in the tote. Split by one and a half seconds, anything can happen. Now, the question is, is what's going to happen regarding the two Accelerate Motorsport drivers? Is there going to be a switch of position? Is there going to be... Duke it all out. I think given the fact that both of them have been involved in an incident with two other cars, the best bet, in my opinion, would to be work together and stretch a gap. 
or at least someone is going to have to take the hit because one of them surely I, I, I can't see uh, based on the views that I saw it looked like both cars uh, both Hyundai's are the predominant cars to be blamed but that I could be wrong only having seen one side of the story we'll see what the stewards think they get all the clips and data and whatnot to really make the final decision here but what are they going to do are they going to work together to pull away are there is one going to be made a sacrificial lamb to back the field up so at least one of them gets a good result but which car will it be that gets sacrificed if they do and if they're going to do a switch and they're going to have to be very tactical about it to not give up a position to new because he is really holding on here All he has to do is just sit there and just wait. Meanwhile, further down the order, Harding is nearly onto the back of that Civic. But as you can see, he was below 9 tenths or a second. Now it's starting to go back up. Aaron Riley also catching up to the back there. Joker has moved up into 10th position. So he's starting his recovery. Stormfly a lot further down. I feel like his race has been already decided there but in the negatives I suppose there is a positive if he finishes here he will be starting at the front of race 3 on the soft compound so despite having been nerfed out of this race the positives are he will be starting much much higher at the start of the third race compared to his competitors already halfway through this race and so far it is Rob Schauler with the lead. It doesn't look like McEwen is making much of an impression here. If anything, I think McEwen is potentially the sacrificial lamb here. It's hard to tell, really. I mean, looking at their pace, Rob is a lot quicker at the moment. New, again, very consistent. Two 124.5s and then two... 123s within very close proximity of one another is Liam bump drafted. He is bump drafted. Again. Also trying to probably trying to break away from Thompson. But bump drafting in the Mercedes into the back of a, a faster car when you're already in a slow car potentially could disadvantage him because it gives the Ford more momentum well the Ford already has the, the larger momentum given it's quicker but Liam doesn't want to put himself into a disadvantage oh now everyone's Constantine is up Rob has made a mistake it seems yeah a very very slow sick flap there they're all bunching up here oh John Thompson getting on the grass there the front right hooking up into the grass below the curb Meanwhile, further back down, Harding has caught up to Adam Piper. The question is, where is he going to make this move? He can afford to be a little bit patient. He's got a 1.2 second gap. The car he's battling is on mediums. So he can afford just to wait it out, see if he can put him under pressure. But Adam is a tough nut to crack. Meanwhile, again, new on the back of the Genesis. Not quite in a position to make a move here you can see the gap staying very stable not really catching not really losing time meanwhile John Thompson a little bit further back just biding his time but it looks like the Genesis I think they're just stuck doesn't look like they're trying maybe they can't pull away maybe they're struggling to pull away maybe this is their tactic it's hard to tell really stormfly is still in 13th trying to catch up meanwhile joker he is catching up to jonathan smith for eighth position so eighth on mediums not a bad position to finish given adam he's in fifth could potentially be sixth soon oh uh, liam new really close onto the back of McEwen in there but had a really bad line down the hill and John Thompson got all caught up behind him with really nowhere to go there.
Lap 8 already. These races absolutely fly by. It, 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 it's a lot slower when you're driving, but when you're watching, it, tell you what, it goes really quick. So the gap at the front has increased, and it's still increasing, just broken the toe there. At this rate, it's going to be a provisional 1-2 for Accelerate Motorsport, but I'm sure there's going to be penalties submitted after this race. Liam New in third, John Thompson in a close fourth. Aaron Riley has gotten past Harding, so we've missed the initial overtake, but Harding's repassing. This is all working out in the favour of Adam, because if they keep battling, Adam can keep extending. Which will help Adam, given he's on the mediums, and, you know, people battling makes it all the more easier. Joker is slowly catching up to Jonathan, who is driving a really good race. Ash being slowly caught by Aaron. And there's Mark Thompson and um, Gary Pointer battling for 10th position there, having a quiet race between, amongst themselves. Gary Pointer on the mediums, Mark Thompson on the softs. Aaron seems to have broken away from the Merc a little bit there. Aaron, another driver who has outshined this season, joined in season one, well of the well, of the first season of the road cars in the Renault. Took a while, it took his time to get up to speed. Was in the Mercedes last season, got some good positions and results, and again in the Honda, solidifying his status as a very, very good, clean, fast driver. And consistent driver. Meanwhile, again up front, the gap just hovering outside of the toe for Liam. But he's still got Thompson and New hot on his tail here. Again, it's all just going to depend on the the outcome of Stewart's penalties if they're submitted. So at the moment, first and second is definitely undecided here. John Thompson again with the fastest lap, so, oh no, it was Stormfly with the fastest lap last time, so it would be definitely Thompson, given his pace, seems to be the one who's going to hold on to this fastest lap for now. Again, further down the order, Aaron has caught up to Piper, so it's Civic versus Civic action. Absolutely identical cars, apart from the fact they're running two different compounds. So this should be easy pickings for Aaron. I don't think Adam's going to put up too much of a fight here. You know, he's managed, he managed to break away slightly, but now he's being caught up again. I can't see him really fighting this one too hard. We'll see Aaron, you can see slowly, slowly gaining. He's gaining now. Adam is going to, yeah, I think he thought about to go in defensive there. He needs to kind of make his mind up. He was wallowing a little bit all over the road there. Not really making it predictable there. But nonetheless keeps the position. And has broken away a little bit there. Jordan could really capitalise from these two battling. Oh, Adam went wide there. As Aaron sets his best lap of the race. You see the difference between two compounds there. Adam a little bit more sideways, a little slower. Aaron nice and planted. You see they're taking different approaches. Aaron went in a little bit more wider into that fast left. Oh, Adam's gone onto the curb. He's really compromised himself there. But the track's just too narrow for Aaron to capitalize. Not without crashing into the back of him. <laughs> So he's going to have to wait for a larger mistake than that to get by, or he's going to have to do it down the inside at the chicane if he can set the... Oh, his Joker has disconnected. That is very unfortunate. So that means he'll start at the back of the grid on the next race, which is unfortunate. So Aaron, you see, he's a lot closer this time. Adam is... Again, a little bit all over the place. Not really picking a line there. But Aaron smartly placing his cars in the right place there. 
doesn't look to be under any pressure so far. If anyone's under pressure, it's definitely Adam. Uh, Aaron maybe should have lifted a tiny little bit through that final corner because it would have given him a little bit more space to utilize the slip and make a move into turn one. But I think he can kind of afford to take his time. Oh, there's been a lead change amongst all of that. McEwen is now into the lead. Obviously, we've missed that during the the battle between fifth and sixth whether it was tactical or a mistake we don't know but either way there's been a lead change uh, and further down the grid oh john thompson wide we've just missed what happened there was he shown wide there or did he go wide on it by himself again we don't know so there could be <laughs> the, the the top three really undecided here i guess as Joker has returned, so that does confirm it was just a disconnect. But the top three undecided here. John Thompson could be the one with a win here, potentially. We'll see. But anyway, into the final chicane comes Liam McEwen. With McIntosh not scoring points. This is a good race for him, I suppose. But he also did nerf McIntosh out this race. But he takes first, nonetheless. The top two unclassified the top three completely unclassified i'd say until the investigations if any are submitted do in come to conclusion that the top three have got penalties so john thompson could be a potential winner here uh, adam piper does indeed finish fifth harding managed to re-overtake and get back into sixth for aaron riley seventh jonathan smith a respectable eighth pointer finishes ninth Stormfly in 10th, and we didn't get to see who else, where anybody else finished. Obviously, you can tell Liam McEwen, a bit of an Alpine fan. Probably not a fan at the moment with how things are going, but yeah. But that is race two, round 14. Yep, yeah, round 14. Uh, so your unclassified order, I'd say for now, the two genocide locking out the front to that McEwen and Shaula, Liam in third potentially with a, an investigation against him uh, John Thompson in fourth Adam Piper in fifth on the mediums Harden in sixth Riley seventh Smith eighth Pointer in ninth Stormfly recovering to tenth uh, Mark Thompson in eleventh Ash in twelfth obviously Joker DNF in after disconnecting just going to save that replay just in case to share later. I'm just going to take a little break while we wait for the next race.
And we are back for a final race tonight at Road Atlanta. And we're starting in one minute. As we can see, the conditions is getting a, is a little bit darker now. We're into the evening, cooler conditions, cooler track temps. Again, the wind not really changing that much, so... It's going to be an interesting race. The BMWs are going to be starting further... Well, actually, no. Well, one BMW starting at the front, one will be at the back. The two Genesis at the very back. The two Mercedes to get the two genocide, the two Mercedes are together. So those two, yeah, those two cars should surely get fly up the grid. But I think one of them is on the mediums. We'll check when we get to the race. Two front wheel drives at the front. Ash in first. Has the grid even been set? Yeah, the grid has been set. Ah, uh, here we go. And the big question is, is who's going to come out on top of all of this? I reckon my money is between the Stormfly and Piper, you know, honestly. I reckon Piper could throw up a surprise here. Maybe even Thompson. Ah, even the headlights are on. But anyway, here we go. The final race for the night. And the car's revving. The five lights are coming on. The final race of tonight, race three, round 15, and we are go, and you can see those two Mercs immediately getting off the mark very well. The BMW just about getting past the Honda at the start there. Who is that going down the inside all the way there? That is Jordan Harden straight into fifth. Oh, and dare I say, I think that was Liam Nuda who has just fired off Aaron Riley there. Don't know if he was hit, but I, that definitely looked like a Mercedes going into the back of someone there. Oh, Jordan Harden sticking a nose in there, trying his best to keep it clean. But it, apart from the start, it looked all relatively cleanish. Uh, Mark Thompson getting swamped here. Oh, we are free wide here into t into that turn. Adam Piper threading the eye of the needle goes deep though. Jordan Harden gets a lovely switch back on him. Oh, and my top Mark Thompson's just fired into the back there. It's all getting a bit concertinaed up. The two Genesis going side by side, potentially. Liam's got the Ford on his outside there to contend with. Liam News going slow. The, no, they're free wide again. <laughs> oh, I can see it bit of a mess coming up here it's getting all a bit close and con oh, oh, there's gonna be a bit of a domino effect joker sneaking his way into eighth liam's got nowhere to go you're really gonna put a car there he is that's a bit silly yeah liam wisely backs out of that because there was gonna be an accident liam knew that really forcing a, a, a silly move there there wasn't really a car's width there and kind of forced this car into that gap oh and Liam New got a uh, not Liam New Liam McEwen got a slight okay got a slight wiggle there and went off the road I oh, mean he's on the mediums as well so oh we've got a yellow flag who is that that's off oh it's Jonathan Smith has he been reset something's going on he got reset oh man he must have gone off tried to rejoin and he's been reset by the game and yeah, so both Genesis on the mediums Liam New on the mediums. Mark Thompson on the mediums. Joker's off trying to go around the outside of Mark Thompson. Yeah, it's really hard to go around the outside there. It's going to have dirty tyres to contend with now. Meanwhile, the two BTC cars in second and third. Adam Piper's got the run on Ash. Oh, Ash must have had a bad run out of that uh, 90 degree right because look at Gary Pointer into second position potentially adam's trying to fight it around the outside oh he does hang on around the outside there has gary got the switch back no adam's gone off the road now adam's gonna have dirty tires throughout this next section here comes jordan harden in the mercedes rubbing paint with sharp Gary Point are giving a little fake there to adam no he is going for it he's down the inside oh and they're both off there gary's gonna hit the wall Oh dear. 
is a little bit messy in this race. Oh, poor Adam has just been nerfed out of this race. And I said he was going to be a contender for a win here. Uh, sorry, Adam. I might have just commentated a curse to you. <laughs> oh, Mark Thompson. Yeah, into the gravel. He's going to have dirty tyres now. It is all happening in this race. We're only on lap three. <laughs> Everyone is going off left, right and centre. But Ash Sharp, Ash Sharp, Ash Sharp in the midst of all that on the medium, still in third. Might not realise he's still got traction control on and it might be slowing him down. Meanwhile, Stormfly, Aaron Loxie, he's managed to break away from the mayhem and is seven seconds up the road. I don't think Jordan is going to make an impression on that. Aaron's pace throughout tonight has been pretty stellar. The question is, what can Showler do? Can he get by Sharp? It, I presume he would be able to. Liam New on the mediums, looking for a way by on the inside. Just about keeping it clean. Not in a position to make a move there. There's a lot of guys, so third to seventh are all on mediums. For some reason, Ash Sky's wind, windscreen wipers on. <laughs> Meanwhile, further down a little bit, we got Mark Thompson, jo Joker McIntosh, even. Xavier McIntosh has managed to climb his way back into seventh. Liam McEwen and Adam Piper all the way at the back are, are stuck in the melee at the back of the grid. Oh, Adam's just gone into the back of Mark Thompson and just punted him off there. Seems like Adams forgot what the brake in the middle, uh, the brake, pe the pedal in the middle does. It's called the brake. So Adam, despite being potentially wiped out, has definitely gone into the back of a car there. That I'm pretty sure definitely went into the back of a car there. I mean, while further down, yeah, Rob has got past Sharp. But to be fair to Sharp, he's having an excellent race so far, keeping it clean. What's Liam New going to do around the outside there? I do not know about that one. Can he make a stick? Yep, Sharp's giving him the room. Looks like Sharp is just trying to keep his nose clean from these guys. It's all, all got a little bit heated. Everyone's getting a little bit rough and tough with each other. Potentially there's a little bit of lag involved. Polyphony Digital Server is not that stable. So a lot of these incidents could just be lag related. On my end, it looks like these cars are all bashing each other. But on other people's ends, they couldn't even be anywhere near each other. Macintosh in 7th there definitely has the potential for a top 3, I reckon. Top 3 is in sight. Meanwhile, Aaron, 9.6 seconds. His to lose this race. His first potential win here. Jordan Harding in second. Rob Schaller in third. Liam New in fourth on the mediums. John Thompson in fifth on the mediums. Ash Sharp down into seventh. Something's happened to him. Not quite sure what. Missed it whilst looking at other drivers. Joker up to sixth now. Potentially fifth. He can definitely get to third second yeah i'd say even second possibly he's got to keep his nose clean oh he's going for a move there oh john he got such a massive overall i don't think john expected it potentially there but he's got through either way oh john might have a few words about that uh, that little knock there potentially though jordan has got to break away as quick as he can because mcintosh is hell-bent on getting through this grid Meanwhile, further down, McEwen is in ninth with his sights set on eighth, potentially seventh. Yeah, McEwen can definitely improve here. His teammates in third. Excuse me. There's no reason why McEwen can't get higher up. Meanwhile, that battle for third. Oh, Adam Piper has left. Now that is a very rare sight to see. We'll see what what's caused that. But meanwhile, the battle for third between the Mercedes and the Genesis. 
ongoing. Uh, Liam slowly catching in a position to make a, a, a move. No, Rob just gently moving it to the left there. Just like, yeah, you can try. I'm going to put my car here, but you can try and go for it. Oh, in the meanwhile, well, it works for Liam. He's helping his teammate get away, but Joker has caught up now. Um, with the significant tyre advantage being on a steps off the compound, it's only a matter of when Joker gets past these guys. Well, Macintosh, my, my, shall I say? Oh, has Liam been off? I look like Liam was off there. It seems like the it seems like it's becoming darker and darker as this race goes on as well. So the drivers have now got to contend with changing conditions. Liam knew not a fan of driving in the dark, I don't think. It doesn't tend to get along with it. So that's going to work to Joke uh, McIntosh's advantage. Rob Schauler, third, I think, could potentially challenge for second here, which would match the highest finishing position on the medium tyres this season of second position. John Thompson not too far behind this battle for third here could potentially capitalize on some mistakes and battles going on Liam McEwen also now into eighth meanwhile further down the grid uh, saw spaced out you know, Jonathan Smith after being reset has his race has been absolutely killed by the game there which is unfortunate meanwhile Aaron having the race of his life 13 seconds up the road sets the fastest lap of the race Definitely his his to lose now. There is no way he can lose this unless he does something catastrophic. Rob Schauler slowly catching up to Harden. Meanwhile, Joker has got past Liam New. And so now he sets his sights on third, but Rob on these mediums is going quick. He's done a 23 6 on the mediums. That is absolutely lightning pace from Rob there. And there is no reason why Rob can get into second and even hold on to the win potentially with that pace. I mean, Joker, his race so far, he's done a lot of battling, so he's never been able to get to it up to his ultimate pace. But six temps in hand at this track with not a lot of overtaken places, Rob could hold on to this position. I don't think Joker has enough of a pace advantage to maybe overhaul Rob here. We'll see. First up, Rob's going to deal with Harding if he is going to overtake him. And I think Rob is going to want to overtake Harding if he's quicker, which he is. Rob's going to want to get away from Joker as quick as he can. But that gap is just coming down and down and down. Joker on a flyer at the moment. Still yet to get up to pace, but I think now he's going to. Let's check a little bit further back down. It's all even Stevens at the moment. The main battle is this battle for second and third. Rob Schauler is so nearly onto the back of that Merce on back of the Mercedes now. The gap is ebbing and flowing. One minute it's really close. Next minute it's kind of breaking away and it's breaking away now, which is bad news for Rob because that BMW is rocking up to the back of him now. And you can see Joker is getting up a pace now. He's on course to do his fastest lap of the race so far. Dare I say, I think a move is coming up at this chicane now. I mean, look at the difference here now on board with the BMW. He's not going to be able to make a move on the straight alone here. That Genesis is too quick, especially with the toe of the Mercedes. As you can see, the Genesis slowly edging itself away. But Joker on the softer tyres could do a late lunge here, but I think he's too far back. What you can see there, just how quickly he gained on the break in, in the braking zone alone there. Oh, Rob got a bit of a bad exit there. A little bit too much curb. Goes a little defensive. Joker's just waiting and waiting. Here we go. He's set the move up now. Can he go for the move on the inside? No, that Genesis just inches. That is the difference between Rob staying in second or third there. Just the fact that the Genesis can inch that little bit farther away. Just enough that he can 
go into that corner without having to defend or worry about Joker making a move. But this is giving Jordan the break he needs to finish in seconds because Rob's got to think about whether he's going to make a move or not or defend because if he makes a move it puts him out of position puts him off off the ideal line which makes him vulnerable to McIntosh Liam also with a good view here to see how this is all going to pad out meanwhile John Thompson down into seventh and there was a flash of the lights there is Liam upset I get the feeling he is upset. You don't flash the lights that many times. If you were trying to distract someone, no, he is definitely upset. He is, yeah, he's upset with something. You wouldn't flash the lights that many times to try and distract someone. He's definitely disgruntled with something. So something has happened. But we don't know. Meanwhile, oh, Joker, yeah, has got past jo uh Rob Shaler now around the outside. Now sets his sight on second position, who is, and he's already in the toe of Jordan Harden now. So it's a case of where can he get past Jordan? And you can see Jordan's pace, it's good, but Joker, he's got about eight tenths, even more on hand. Again, might set up his move into the chicane potentially even earlier the mercedes not the quickest car in a straight line meanwhile a little bit further back that fight for fourth liam has caught up to rob in the midst of all that He's setting his best lap of the race last lap of 23 9. can he make a move though on the genesis i don't think he will be able to i keep bloody yawning the genesis has the toe joker's making a move on the mercedes yeah, gonna get it done before the chicane. Is Jordan gonna fight back into the breaking zone? No, he's gonna let it go that time. Rob really caught up to the back of that there. So it's now a BMW 1 2. Aaron Loxy, haven't seen much of him this race, but just doing what needs to be done on course to take his first win of the season. His debut season debuting in this car this week and on course to take a win it's always good to see a new winner jordan can can he hold on to third fourth for rob on the mediums is good but third is even better but liam knows that too and he's and these two are locked in a battle for third position in the championship and they're going to want to get past... They're going to, Rob's going to want to stay as, in front as long and as hard as he can, but Liam's going to want to get through as hard as he can too. So we'll stay on board for this battle just for a little while longer, just in the potentiality that something may happen, but I think Liam is just too far back. He's had a cracking run out of that corner though, but the Genesis is going to start edging its way again. Meanwhile... Aaron Loxy rounds the final corner. He's had a stellar race, very consistent. He rounds the final corner to take his first win of the season. Well done. Joker, well, he's going to finish second by the looks of it. What's happening further back? No, Liam's not close enough to make that move. Harding, he's going to finish third by the looks of it. Oh, uh, Rob's had a little nibble on the grass. He's had a tank slapper. Oh, no. Oh, just a small nibble of the grass and the car just tank slaps. Oh, it looks like Liam is going to get that fourth position after all. But Rob, oh, a horror night. He's not going to be impressed with that at all. Liam, that means Liam finishes seventh on the mediums. Oh, I just cannot believe the car just slapped on him like that. That He had that car glued to the track and then all of a sudden there uh, just gave way very unexpectedly that would have been very and a very unexpected snap for rob he, he would have done well to hold on to that but i don't think there was much he could do there on the mediums once these cars just get into a slide and they try and swing the other way there's very little you can do to hold on to that uh, jordan harding third at road atlanta a track he's never driven at it seems will be happy with that so the mercedes f finished third and fourth and gary pointer a very impressive fifth there and that concludes tonight's race sim. Save the replay and go through the race result.
So it is Aaron Loxley with two fastest laps tonight. Finishing first, his first win of the season. Joker finishes second. So that makes it a WSR 1-2. WSR so a 1-2 in race 1, a race 1-2 uh, in race 2. Jordan Harding with a very good, a very, very, very good third position there. Liam New on the mediums, benefiting from Rob having an awful spin out of that final turn. Gary Pointer with a very impressive fifth position. John Thompson. So, yeah, look at that. Top six. All, you know, lovely and symmetrical. Gee, I just love to see it. Liam New, a very uh, Liam McHugh in a quiet race there on the mediums in seventh. Aaron Riley in eighth. Rob in a disappointing ninth there. It just, oh, my heart goes out to him. A horrid night there. The high end eye just, it just not. I just don't think doing what he wanted it to do there. Ash Sharp in tenth. Mark Thompson in eleventh. Jonathan Smith definitely got. How, just the game definitely screwed him up there. He definitely got reset. And Adam finishing in... Well, he didn't even finish this race. And I never found out why that happened. Uh, so, uh, it turns out Adam Adam was... No, I was just taken out three times in one race. I'm from P2 to last. So, uh, fruity words. So, yeah, it uh, seems like Adam was unimpressed with the driving standards that race. And uh, that is the conclusion of tonight's racing. Uh, so that is Road Atlanta done. And we head into the final round of this season to Brands Hatch GP. A very, very technical circuit, just like Road Atlanta. Narrow, not a lot of runoff. Lots of chaos can happen. The championship will be decided there. It's going to be close. But I've been your host tonight. And um, we'll see you all next week. Take care and good night.